So, um, question one is basically, you need to come up with the transformation matrices that describe each of these transformations. I've given you two. Uh, number one just says, find me the transformation matrix that describes a reflection in the x-axis. So who can remember, how do we go about doing this? Okay, so first things first, we think about our basis vectors, yeah? yeah. So our basis vectors, who can remember what are the basis vectors? Yeah, good. So you've got i, which is 1, 0. Remember, we write it as a column, yeah? And you've got j, which is 0, 1. Perfect. And remember, you write that as a column, okay? And then we write this in a matrix. Now, who can remember what that matrix is called? It's a very special type of matrix. Can anybody remember? It's the identity matrix. Sorry, Benazir. It's the identity matrix, thank you. Yeah? So. 1, 0, 0, 1 is the identity matrix. The reason being is because if you multiply something by the identity matrix, what do you get? Thing. Absolutely right. It's the equivalent of multiplying by 1. You get the identical thing back. Okay. Good. So if you want to describe a reflection in the x-axis, what you need to do is you need to think about where these vectors will end up after you've reflected them in the x-axis. Do you remember this? Yeah? So where will they end up after we reflect them in the x-axis? Where will i end up? Good, it will remain at the same place. So i will remain here. In other words, i will remain at 1, 0. Okay. Where will j end up? Good, j will end up down here at the coordinates. What are the coordinates of j after it's been reflected in the x-axis? Perfect. Zero, negative one. Okay. So this would be the answer to right. one part one. Do you see that? It's on the y axis here, the reflection on the y. It's reflection in the x-axis. It changed the y's, right? The, the x is the same. Okay, so what I'm literally asking here is you see these two vectors here? Mm -hmm. If you perform the transformation, reflect them in the x-axis, where do they end up? So you're happy, i doesn't move. i stays where it is. Yeah, but i is x. Like on x if you like, on yeah, it's a step in the x direction. Yeah, yeah good. Whereas j will clearly y. end up like that, be inverted. Is that okay? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, next one is slightly trickier then. Next one is slightly trickier. There's three transformations which are happening. We get a stretch by a scale factor 3 in the y direction. In other words, you're pulling it up like that. You're also stretching by 7 in the x direction. In other words, you're pulling it across like that. And then finally, you reflect all of those transformations in the y axis. So let's first of all break it down. Let's do a stretch by a scale factor 3 in the y direction. Where does i end up? Where does i end up if we do a sketch, stretch by a scale factor 3 in the y direction? Uh, I, I doesn't change, you're happy? Because it's happening in the y direction. But where does j end up? Like we're doing it uh, 0, 3. Good, yeah, exactly. j ends up all the way up here, ends up at 0, 3. Okay, but i doesn't change. But then we're also doing a stretch by a scale factor of 7 in the x direction. So where does i end up now? Uh, I uh, multiplying by 7. Good, so it's like way out here. You happy with that? Where does it end up? 7, 0. You happy with that? But you're happy j doesn't change in that case, because you're just stretching it in the, y, in the x direction. Okay, so in other words, i will end up at... Uh, sorry, this is i, isn't it? i will end up at 7, 0. And j will end up at, three, at 0, 3. Is that okay? And then finally, you just need to reflect all of that in the y-axis. You need to take that and you need to reflect it in the y-axis. So where will i end up? Where will i end up if we reflect both of those transformations in the y-axis? Good. Negative 7, 0. So way out here. Uh, that will i. Okay, so i will be at negative 7, 0. And where will j end up? 
it will stay in the same place. Well done. Okay, so it will stay at 0, 3. So in other words, this matrix here will correspond to those three transformations. Okay, so it's negative 7, 0, 0, 3. Are there any questions about that? Is that okay? Good, all right. Yeah? Okay, describe the transformation then. 7, 0, 0, 7. What's happened here? Yep. Um, by, by seven Good. X -axis. So it's a stretch by seven in the x direction. Good. Uh, and by seven also in, in j direction. In the y -axis direction as well. So we're basically enlarging the entire thing by seven because it's happening in the x and also the y direction. Okay. So would you be happy? It's an enlargement by a scale factor of seven. I'm missing a piece of information here. What am I missing? Where, where's the center of that um, enlargement? In other words, where do I put my finger where I stretch it outwards? So what stays still? The origin, isn't it? Yeah. So it's centered at the origin. OK, so it's centered at the origin. What is the name of this scale factor? So scale, scale factor, yeah. just like it was, yeah, scale factor. So it's basically how much you make it bigger or smaller. Because first we did the vectors, then we did the another the, the multiplier. Uh, no, it's also vectors. It's also some you can think of it like a vector because effectively what you're doing here is you're multiplying your entire matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1, by 7. So it's a scalar multiple. So it's a scale factor or a scale multiple. Okay. What's happened here? I think we need a sketch for this one. Okay. So remember, this is where i and j started. So where do they end up? So you remember the first one corresponds to which? I or J? Corresponds to I. So I ends up at 6, 0. So way out over here. That's I. OK. And J is the second one. You happy? 0, negative 2. So 0, negative 2 ends up down here. So what have we done to get from here to here? I know this isn't drawn to scale. What's happened? Okay. Hang on. Stretch by a scale factor of six centered at the origin in the x direction. Good. In minus two in y direction. Good. So then it's also a stretch by a scale factor of two in the y direction centered at the origin. Okay, but take that as a given. All right. Um, there's something else which has happened here as well. So how do we get that negative? So reflection in which axis? Uh, X axis. Yeah, good. You've basically taken that and gone like that. So j was up here if it was a stretch by a scale factor 2 in the y direction. And now it ends up down here. So it's a reflection in the x axis. You happy with that? Yeah. 